Hey, 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 it's your favorite bushy pussy face, and I'm back once again by request. Holy shit, I've had such an amazing response. People want me to do reviews on albums. I fucking love you for it. Thank you. So here I am. I'm going to talk to you about Guns N' Roses 1991 release. Use your illusions. One. Yes, I got notes. That's because I don't have the album jackets anymore. I got enough CD, I just don't have the covers anymore. Let's just knock right into this bitch, okay? 1991, we waited years. 87 was the first official Guns N' Roses release. We got Lies, whatever. It was a good album, blah, 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 blah. We'll talk about that some other time. Use Your Illusions, Volume 1. Right next door to hell. Oh, shit. They broke right the fuck out. It was great. It was great. It was overproduced and very clean. Didn't hold the angst that Appetite for Destruction had, but it's still a good fucking tune. What a way to start the album. They're moving to Dust and Bones. Now, it's very chill. It's an Izzy Stradlin song, and if you ever heard the Juju Hounds, you know where the fuck he was going, frankly. But I do dig the song. I do dig the song. It's not nearly as great as shit he wrote on Appetite, but you know what? Whatever. I dig the tune. Then we move into Live and Let Die. I don't like it. Fuck you, Paul McCartney. Fuck you, Wings. I'm not a fan. I don't dig it. From there, don't cry. Oh, I want to throw my fucking notebook across the fucking room. Don't cry. Don't you cry! Fuck that shit. Horrible. Horrible. Fuck Shannon Hoon. I don't care. I didn't like Blind Melon either. I saw the video with a stupid little chubby girl dancing in a fucking bubble bee suit. I didn't like it. Fuck him. Horrible. Horrible. Perfect crime. Starts out good. just kind of goes to shit I, I I don't like it I liked it back then when it came out in 91 I graduated high school in 93 now I, I don't like it what a crap fucking song then uh, 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 you ain't the first it's very weird but actually I kind of dig this song it's kind of cool I'm down with it you know, very acoustic -y and and uh, whatever. Good stuff, good stuff. Not the greatest, not bad. Bad Obsession. Now, Bad Obsession, I fucking love this song. I think this shit's fucking brilliant. I like the acoustic stuff. I like everything that's going on in this song. It's a great, 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 great fucking song. And then after that, we want to back off, bitch. Uh, this has the potential to be a badass Guns N' Roses track. It has the potential to be Mr. Brownstone. It could be heavier. It could be heavier. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It, it, it could have... Mm, could have been, you know, better. Heavier. You know, not... Axl Rose fucking sucked the life out of it. Then we move into uh, uh, Back Off Bitch. No, I'm sorry. No, we, always, we just did Back Off Bitch. Double Talk and Jive. I dig the fuck out of this song. This is driving. This is straight ahead rock and roll. This is everything that I liked about Guns N' Roses. That is some good fucking shit. Great song. Great song. November Rain. I'm 41 years old. I loved November Rain as a kid. I hate November Rain now. The best part of this song is a guitar solo. And even that is not Slash's uh, uh, best guitar work. Take that for what it is. The Garden. It's track number 11. Now, this shit's ridiculous. It's very evil. It's very sinister. It's very got fucking Alice Cooper on the goddamn track. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Good shit. Great song. And then they move into Garden of Eden. I don't like Garden of Eden. 
I didn't like it when it came out. It was frantic. It was hysterical. And I don't mean hysterical as in funny. I mean, it was just all over the goddamn place. I didn't like the video with Axl Rose doing all this shit. I, I just, I didn't like it. I didn't like it then. I don't fucking like it now. I think it's an overrated song. And if you like this shit, you should reach down and fill your pussy. It's gay. Hate that song. From there, we move on to Don't Damn Me. I actually like this. I actually like this a lot because I catch a lot of shit all the time because of my views and what I say. And he opens it up. Don't damn me when I speak my peace of mind because silence ain't golden when you're holding it inside. Love that fucking song. Love those lyrics. Great, great, great song. Don't damn me is a fucking standout track. From there, we move on to Bad Apples. Uh... I, 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 um, I, um, um, uh, I don't fucking like it. Horrible. Where the fuck was the Guns N' Roses? Where's my appetite Guns N' Roses? I haven't seen them yet. From there we're going to Dead Horse. I actually love this song. Because it actually, I, I related to it as a teenager. Sick of this life, not that you care. I'm not the only ones with whom these feelings I share. And then it just crunches. Sometimes I feel like I've been kicking the dad horse, but that was badass, as badass then, it's fucking badass now. Great, great fucking power, fucking cool shit. Rock and roll, baby. And then the absolute best song on the album. It's been playing in the background here. Coma. I forget how long it clocks in at. It's a long ass song. This to me is Pink Floyd meets fucking metal. Roger Waters did the wall, but he had this prog rock band to do it with. What he meant to do was Coma. What a great song. What a great song. Now, having said all that, being a Guns N' Roses fan that I am, there's a lot to be desired in this album. I don't like Don't Cry. I don't like all the little sissy shit they do. But there's times where they really, really stand out. It's like where Axel's little fucked up I have to be the greatest thing ever actually shines through. Get the album. It is good. It is good. It's no appetite for destruction, and I'm sorry, but it's no fucking Chinese democracy either. That's right, I said it. Fuck you, Chinese democracy's better. Check out the Rock and Metal Combat Podcast. Listen to thatmetalstation.com. And motherfuckers, buy vinyl. <laughs>